Hello everyone, I'm Tristan. Now let me tell you a story. I was sitting at home today and I said to myself, you know, you should make a TOEIC video today. And then I thought about it and I said, no, you must make a TOEIC video. So that's what I've decided to do. I'm going to help you improve your TOEIC score, improve your English grammar and vocabulary, and maybe feel better about yourself and the world. So today we're going to look at two TOEIC questions and I'm going to show you how easy it is to get the answer. Let's get started. Here's the first question. Now, I do not know why TOEIC is talking about slow cookers. They're great, but it seems a little strange. Anyway, as you can see with this question, we already have a main clause. The green light on the slow cooker lights up. Now, lights up means becomes brighter. Don't confuse lights up with lighten up. Lighten up is a way to tell someone to not be so serious. It's a little aggressive. So, if you're telling a joke and someone gets angry, you could say, hey, lighten up. It's just a joke. But lights up becomes or equals become brighter. So, as you can see, we have one sentence, but we have two clauses. The first clause is the green light on the slow cooker lights up. The second clause is the dish is ready. Well, we can immediately eliminate B. After during, you need a noun, not subject verb. This is because during is a preposition. This is correct. During the ceremony, I fell asleep. So the ceremony is a noun. Wrong. During I was watching the ceremony, I fell asleep. So do not use during subject verb. That's it. The dish is is subject verb, so during cannot be correct. Next, eliminate therefore. When you use therefore, it introduces an independent clause. Therefore, 90% of the time, you need a period or semicolon before it. Here are some examples. I couldn't find any fish sauce at the store. Therefore, I couldn't make authentic pad thai. I do not have a period. I do not have a comma. This is incorrect. Correct. I couldn't find any fish sauce at the store. Period. Therefore. Semicolon. Therefore or, and therefore, comma, couldn't make any pad thai. As you can see with this TOEIC question, there is no punctuation around the blank. There is no period. There's no semicolon. There's not even a comma after therefore. Therefore, this cannot be the answer. Now you have likewise and whenever. Likewise means in a similar way. An example, it is common for customers to be unhappy with servers. Likewise, it is common for servers to be unhappy with customers. Notice when I use likewise before subject verb, it needs a comma after it. It is written in the same way as therefore. It is usually period, likewise, comma, or semicolon, likewise, comma. And also, it doesn't make sense in this situation. Therefore, the answer is whenever. Whenever equals when, but it means every time this happens, this happens. My boss gets angry whenever I'm late. Or, whenever I'm late, my boss gets angry. What's my boss's problem? Okay, I'm late. That's her problem. So, we can see with this TOEIC question, the green light on the slower slow cooker lights up. That means the dish is ready. So the green light on the slow cooker lights up whenever the dish is ready. Once again, why is Toic talking about slow cookers? I don't know. Let's look at 121. Well, we can use relatively basic grammar to get this answer. Let's look at the word family related to compete. Compete is a verb that means to try and win against another person or a company. The forms are usually person competes with or against 
person or a prize or two verb. An example, I often competed with my sister for my parents' attention. Oh, that's sad. Or to get my parents' attention. Now, let me ask you, who competes with Toyota for customers? Well, it could be GM, Hyundai, Kia, maybe Tesla. What is the noun for compete? Well, a person who competes is a competitor. The challenge or company that competes is competition. Here's an example. He was a competitor in the skiing competition. Unfortunately, his skis were missing. That's important. Here's another example. There was a great deal of competition in the restaurant industry. So that means it was quite a challenging industry. There are many competitors. Another example, Domino's is Pizza Hut's main competition and vice versa. And just a note, vice versa means you can switch the subject and object. For example, I love my wife and vice versa. Well, I hope she loves me. The adjective is competitive. Notice my pronunciation, competitive. This describes a person who really wants to win, hates losing. So, my friend Konoka is extremely competitive. Before a skiing competition, she stole her competitor's skis. That's kind of evil. Competitive can also describe an industry or situation where many groups are competing. An example, the restaurant industry is very competitive. There is a great deal of competition. There are many competitors. Now, I just did a little research, and according to a recent study, the apparel industry, so clothing or fashion, is one of the most competitive in the world. And maybe that's why I can get pants at a cheaper price than a six pack of beer. Okay, so now we know that competitive is an adjective. Let's go back to the TOEIC question. We need a word that describes the adjective competitive. What describes an adjective? An adverb. What does an adverb usually end with? L-Y. He is extremely tall. He is terribly rude. Konoka is frighteningly competitive. She stole someone's skis. What is your adverb choice for this TOEIC sentence? Increasingly. So the answer is increasingly. It means more and more. An example? For some reason, my students become increasingly tired when I talk about adverbs. I wonder why. So we see the answer. The industry is becoming increasingly competitive. So it's an increasingly competitive industry. More and more. There's more and more competition every day. So we looked at two TOEIC questions. I would call these intermediate level. Hopefully you learn some tips. Hopefully you share, subscribe, like, comment, and have a wonderful day. Bye.